Who knows all the countries in the world or even knows the basics about them? That's why I'm giving you a brief overview of the most important data on their political system in this little series. And today it's about Singapore. The official name of the country is Republic of Singapore. The form of government is a parliamentary democracy with a unicameral system. The head of state is Halima Jakob, president of the Republic of Singapore, appointed in, on September 14th in 2017. The head of government is Lee Sien Long, the prime minister from the People's Action Party, the PAP, since August 12th in 2004, re-elected for the fifth time in 2020. The foreign minister is Dr. Vivian Balakrishnan, since October 1st in 2015, confirmed in office in 2020. On the Human Development Index, they rank ninth place. Singapore is a city-state in which 5.6 million people live in an area roughly equivalent to that of Hamburg, of which around 3.5 million are Singaporean citizens. Of them, around 75% are of Chinese, around 13% of Malay and around 9% of Indian descent. Christian denominations, Islam, Hinduism, Buddhism, Taoism and other religions are all represented in Singapore. The maintenance of peace between ethnic and religious groups and their equality, therefore, enjoy high priority in the politics of the country. The ruling People's Action Party has had an overwhelming majority of seats in Parliament since 1959. Singapore is a member of ASEAN and will continue to be the EU Asian coordinator until 2021. At the international level, Singapore advocates a multilateral norm-based order. Singapore has achieved great prosperity as a trade and service center for Southeast Asia. Um, the GDP per capita was almost 64,000 US dollars in 2019. The state promotes the development of modern technologies in the digital age. The free trade agreement between the EU and Singapore entered into force in November 2019 after a long lead time. In 2020, politics, business and society were shaped by measures to contain the COVID-19 pandemic as everywhere. I'll see you in my next video. Bis gleich.